I know it's hard to see because I'm out of focus, but there's a little design on the end of the saw cut piece of round bar. It's hard to see it, but it's there. It's something to do with cutting with the bandsaw, but I don't know what it is. I've had engineers look at me like I'm from Mars. Um, so if you know what it is, send me a message. Help me out. Hey, it's Doug here from Bessie Custom Fab. Today I'm doing something with some round bar. I've got some 5 8 inch stainless round bar. I'm making a coat rack for a customer of mine. So uh, what I did was I cut the round bar, cut all the pieces, and then I built a jig on the table saw. I kind of burned it too. Uh, anyway, and then what you do, what I did, I mean, was I cut my pieces all cut the same. I put them in there like this, clamp, clamp, lined it up where I want it. I had holes on the bottom side. I lined it up with the holes, made everything nice and square, plug welded the back side, popped the jig off, on to the next one. It worked out really well. Um, you know, I, I, I tend to spend a little extra time trying to think of good ways to do it, but uh, I think it's worth it in the end because everything comes out really straight and uniform. And that's what you want when you're building a coat rack or a rack of any kind. You don't want all your pieces going every which way. Um, so that's what I did. Uh, TIG welded the corners. I will install this. I'll put holes in here on the studs. And then I just have some little backing plates that will go in behind. So it doesn't suck down to the wall. It'll, it'll clamp it on really nice and tight. And then uh, hang up your coats, everybody. Let's go. Just a quick stainless job today, but uh, kind of fun building a jig. And it's nice to take your time at the beginning, and then everything else goes banks together really quick and, and looks nice and like you meant to do it that way. Anyway, like my video, subscribe. Messy Custom Fab, rock and roll.